Hello everybody, Amite here. I'm very, very tired, but uh, I wanted to start the episode off with a little bit of flaming and cubing. So we are going to be opening up my Rebirth Flame box and my Maestro's Cubes box. As usual, I am going to be working on my Arcane Shoulder here. I just finished daily, so it's a nice and relaxing day. We're gonna see if... Oh, wait a minute, this is the... Mitra cubes. Never mind, we can't use uh, the cubes on the shoulder. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the black gate ring. This is what it's at currently. Impressive, I know. So yeah, let's see if we can get a three line somewhere. Hoping for a double drop ultimately, but any form of three line is good. Uh, no, nothing. Some missiles obtained. Nope, not much for that unfortunately but let's take a look and see how well these rainbow flames will fare i recently updated my stack calculator to finally show all of this upgrading finally now that i have the five set i can really see that jump in my uh universal funding range and all that stuff uh but then i've completely forgot i was in the middle of working on uh the flames of my equips so I was like oh right that will change a little bit so let's take a look and see if uh, we'll get lucky with these Gullux pendants only four speed geez that's rough 16 int it's always uh really disappointing to see just one liners that's all I've been getting actually so far wow four one liners in a row that's probably a hybrid one liner are these, uh, I was about to call these flames rigged, but yeah, no, nothing, uh, unlucky. I'm a little bit salty about that flaming session, so let's take a look and see if I can get a quick eternal flame. Uh, yeah, now that, oh, 70, mm, yeah, just for the occasion. Oh, and I have, uh, a little bit of missiles from that, so... That's cool. Yeah, uh, I might start, you know, crafting flames again on my Evan. I'm just, you know, now that that whole thing has happened, I'm really excited. Yeah, yuck. I'm really excited to just, you know, relax for a little bit before I jump straight into another big project. Around the month of December, we recently switched managers for the Bean Brigade, and this new guy is not really on top of his game. Uh, usually the old manager would inform all of us when the NX for, for Bean Brigade has been sent out, but it's been like two weeks since I got my uh, NX and I guess I wasn't paying attention to my balance. So uh, here it is. Oof, money. Forgot I was currently uh, MVP silver, so uh, get less tax if I go through auction house. So it's, Seven bill agreed price. Did they? Did they just disconnect? Yeah. Okay, doesn't matter. Got the job done. Trying to fix my sleep. Tonight I am trying to go to bed super super early because uh, lately I've been just not been able to sleep. It's not insomnia or anything, but I've been tossing and turning in bed till like 4 or 5 a.m. this past week. So I just want to go fix that. But I am almost done training my Phantom. Almost level 210 off just coin capping. Uh, I decided to give up on Fez because I was just like, yeah, no, the coin capping is going to be too slow. And at least these uh, dailies are very uh, sub 
um, what's the word? Sectionize? Like, you do it once and you get your XP reward and that's it for the day? That's, uh, that's more like my style. I like that type of schedule. So today is gonna be the last day for me. Uh, I am gonna be leveling. Feels good for a change where I'm not deliberately trying to power level a character for the sake of, uh, Link skills or legions at the moment, but I still have, uh, my Explorer Mages to get to 200. I believe someone asked, uh, once why was I training in Fez on a level 200 plus Phantom. It's simply because this guy's not, like, that strong. Uh, <laughs> I say that, but it has 800k range. But truthfully, though, I didn't even do the arcane, uh, pre-quest for this guy, and I'm awfully lazy about things like that. I just find it is, like, not a good use of my time, just simply because of the fact that I'm lazy. Holy shit, I'm almost halfway there, and I don't even have artillery shells. But yeah, there's no secret to it, it's just that I'm incredibly lazy, and Fez 2 is easily ac accessible by walking and all that stuff, compared to needing to walk to uh, Eastern Cave 2 or uh, above and below the cave, so I just prefer going to Fez. To coin cap, actually. It's also much more easier for my Kana to uh, sit around in Kishin, because in those uh, arcane maps, there's no safe spot, and it's kind of hard to uh, have a safe spot and take care of uh, two different computers at the same time. So yeah, like I said, there's really no secret to it, it's just I'm lazy. And this should be it, so... Oh my goodness, this took what? This journey took forever. Holy cow. From the Black Mage event all the way till now. Oh my gosh. But I think it's done. Yeah, there it is. Level 210 Phantom. The last level 3 Link skill that I'll probably not even need. This was just, you know, to finish it off. Really, I don't really know what else I want to get to level 3. I'm not interested in getting my Aran to level 3 because I don't feel like I want to use it for training my hero. Uh, so... Yeah, for the time being, I am officially done with Link skills. I have all these extra glory coins, so might as well have some fun with them. I decided to buy the monster blooms, so let's see what we get. A box. A new monster, let's see what it is. Poisoned Lord Tree. Okay, that's good. I would never get that normally. Another monster. Faith Fragment. Ooh. That. That's actually kind of nice. I, I like that. Another box, and... Giant Spider. Is that- Oh my god, that's the Oz monster! Uh, I've been cashing in these uh, Monster Life gems for... For a while now. I've been getting them just because... Uh, oops. Uh, might as well check. Yeah, I've been... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. First entry, sure. Auto Harvest. Um... Nice. Yeah, so over the past few events, I've just been buying out the Monster Life Gem coupons with my meals because that's what my whale friends were suggesting me to do because eventually Monster Life is something that you may want to tackle and get like that little bit of oomph and like boost in like the little tiniest stats and stuff. So I was like, sure. So I did use some of the coupons to buy some tip-top balloons and I still have a... Uh, bunch of uh, gems left over from all of that, but I actually haven't checked exactly how many coupons have I not opened yet. It's been a darn while. I wonder what the number is. Oh my god. <laughs> I have 82 coupons. I I'm gonna have to spend some time to open all of them up, uh, but right now is not that time. <laughs> Spam this crustacean for HBox elimination. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, sorry. One, one more. <laughs> and did we get anything? Drum roll, please. I got nothing. No. I got nothing. God damn it. Boom. Uh, oh, we got a special. You got a hat. Ah, uh, it's. Umbra Archer hat without any potential on it. Oh, that's not a hat. Yeah. Two items. Archer. Two items. Oh, can I? Um... Oh, wait, what? Two items? What? 
Yeah. There was a potential item in the corner. I think Victor yep. got it. I got this. I got another, another one. Another one. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, double, double drop. That's gloom that's, time. That's good. I was being changed to seat. I couldn't listen to him. Oh what? Oh well, I'm gonna be a goner. Huh? Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh no. Oh, that was close. Oh. Oh, don't no. go to the right. Uh. Oh my platforms, god, these platforms. platforms. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, you... What the fuck, man? You destroyed the one on the left. Oh my god, Back I'm gone. Instant. Uh, I guess we can start switching to drop you. Oh, so shit. Yeah, we should. Go oh, shit. The wall. oh go shit, oh shit. Go inside the wall, Fuck. Oh, no. What the fuck? Ugh. <sighs> Wait, actually, okay. I I'm we'll a little that. bit less sorry now. Ah, <laughs> uh, I got him. Well, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. I got him. I got him. Just, uh, nothing on me. Um, I'm gonna drop my things outside. I didn't Did get I? any equips, but. Wait, did I get an uh, essence, uh, or did I reclaim that one? I did not get an essence. Uh, was from uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday, I know, but I was just like, wait, I thought I threw it in an auction house. Yeah. Got a flame from Fairy Bros. Got a second one from the auction house just for fun. Got two pendants that need to get something better than 4% all stat. So I'm looking for above 40 strength. In total, let's see. And yeah, got some more flames and cubes uh, from the Mitra boxes. So actually, wait, we'll do the Meisters first because that's the last one. Oh my gosh, I just woke up a little bit earlier than uh, usual, which is good because I'm trying to fix myself here. Yeah, no, I don't think so. But, yeah, sort of, fuck. <laughs> uh, getting around to getting a bit better here. Oh my gosh. Come on. Darn it. Close. Not quite what I'm looking for, though. Alright, let's go open up the flames now. Yeah, I... I don't know what I want to ask for with flames on non-boss items. Like, especially with this guy. It's like, this is already pretty good, and I should probably settle. But you know, because it's boss flames, because it could be so sporadic, you could get... It, this could have been 40 strength and 40 all... Uh, sorry, 4 all stat. And that would have been, you know, super godly and stuff. But do you, should I really try for it? I don't know. Nope. Nope. Like, I look at this, and I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, this is probably not a good, you know, decision. Wait a minute. Holy cow, isn't this a pretty good flame for Demon Avengers? Oh gosh, I feel bad for rolling over that. <laughs> 32 int, that's the best so far. Uh, come on. 44 strength. Ah, okay. Ah, shit. I made one crucial error in my judgment about uh, those droplet changes that are coming in GMS later. I assumed that the prices of droplets would be the same, and I forgot that market would probably adapt to it. I had to ask a friend from KMS about this, and uh, they told me that the prices of Arcane River droplets adjusted to uh, essentially to have the overall cost of an arcane armor be more or less the same as it was before the changes. And if the same types of uh, inflation and market adjustments will also happen in GMS, then me selling those droplets was actually a bad move because I technically could have made more meso or 
made more out of those droplets after the change happened. This is simply because of math. If a coin costs 9 coins after the change, and an armor costs 12 coins after the change, but the prices of droplets went up to cover those adjustments, uh, then the cost of 24 coins for a weapon would actually be overall more expensive because of the market changes. The cost in droplets may have been lowered, but the actual price of them in mesos actually will be raised. Why did I say actually twice? So right now I'm asking about the changes in price in arcane armors in KMS, and I'm hopefully gonna get an answer later on today. And then from there, I'll probably have to figure out what's the best move before the change happens because it uh, it does seem to be a pretty significant change and I would like to be ahead of the curve here. I just coughed the steel. So a little bit of backstory, you guys remember my Gold Richie's handkerchief? I got the 92 strength on it and I was like, yeah, I'll keep it because like I thought that was a pretty good one and then I started flaming uh, my CRA and I just realized like, wait a minute, I could actually get something that's actually pretty better. You know, uh, especially like the 72 and 5 on my pants and the 60 and all, all that stuff. So I wasn't like super satisfied with the 92 strength. Uh, since New Year's, I decided to take a look at handkerchiefs in the market. And I realized that, hold on, where was it? it something got sold around January that made me really angry. Because I was like, wait a minute, this is actually so good. Why is it so uh, little? Oh, it was this one. 60 strength, 20 dex, 6 attack, 5 all stats for 3 bill. And I was like, what the freaking hell? I, I, that's money I real I don't mind spending that type of money for that type of flame. And I got really sad because I was like, shit, I could have actually found it and I could have bought it. And then I saw that like a 64 and 6 was... 8.6 bill and I was like oh there's no way I'm going to do that and stuff like that that's too much and then later on in the past week I saw a 60 and 6 get sold for 6 and I was like oh that's starting to not be good for me because I really want something cheap oh I kind of flashed it but uh yeah guess what I found I found a 68 and 5 handkerchief of course it's not as good as the 64 and 6 and uh the 60 and 5 and oh this is such a good one just look at just look at the difference here uh i i wish i got this one i really wish i got that one but you know what for three bill that's not bad i don't mind spending this amount of meso for this upgrade just simply because you know, when all my equips start becoming done and 5 line and 22 starts, maybe something's gonna change and then one of my pocket items will be better than the other. And I'll have to start juggling between uh, my pocket items, but for the time being, 3 bill for this? Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Let's equip it. And look at my stat jump. Wait, how much did I jump? I jumped 160, 153 strength from that. Cool. I don't think I'm going to spend any more after this because any subsequent upgrade will be like kind of minimal, but it's kind I was looking for a better handkerchief for a while now and I was like I really don't want to flame uh another one by myself, so I'm happy. Yay. But yeah, I know I have glory stat bonuses, so that's why I'm not like super excited about 70k stat just yet. I am mass making flames again. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to make too many, but I did buy a lot of ingredients. Okay, I can't say it that like that. Uh, crafting ingredients. Uh, so hopefully, I don't have to pull my hair out flaming those pendants because... Oh boy, flaming non-boss gear is... A wild roller coaster ride. I'm also running low on rebirth fragments, so hopefully Carmen's around. Oh, she just reminded me she switched to smithing recently. So let's see if we get lucky here. This is how many? 9, 10? Oh, 13 r rainbow flames? Ooh. Maybe? Maybe, maybe? 24? Mm, not good enough, but uh, uh, we're gonna spiral down here. Hybrid and tier 4, possibly. 8. 
Nope, that's nothing. 36? Okay, that's starting to see... No, that that's nothing. 32? No! Speed 4! No! That could have been an all stat line, and that would have been pretty godly. No! Oh, that makes me so sad. Well, it didn't happen. At least it wasn't... Okay, now it's just 32 flat now. Frankly, I'm a little bit downright insulted, but hey, whatever. 24 and 4 all. Oh! 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 Oh my! Oh! 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 oh my fucking god! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes! That is so good. One more item to go, and that's it. Oh, baby. 36 and 12. Uh, no, I'm looking for over 40, but that's actually not a bad roll at all. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, imagine if I had four all stat in there too. That would have been insane. Oh, full officer for books are out, by the way. Let's see if I could finish these pendants before the Mitra boxes, uh... Ooh, that could have been another one! That could have been... Oh my god. Oh, that would have been... Ridiculous! Alright, last flame for the time being. Oh my freaking! Well, I already won a grand prize today, so I am happy. That's another flame project or f item completely done, which means this pendant is officially done, 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 done. This is staying locked for sure. Carmen set me up with one of her, uh, guildmates. This will be an arduous task. I'm not gonna do the editing for this. I'm just gonna keep an inventory check here. I have 252 to begin with. That's already a decent amount. I think I may have bought some, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, I'll be back. This should take, like, what? 10 minutes? 15? Maybe? It is time to get my black cubes for this month. And I get three. Because I'm silver. And these are going into this darn shield. Will we see? Oh, I got excited. Two line boss, one line attack. <laughs> Come on! Nope. Darn it. I crafted some more flames, so let's give it a go. Let's see here. Oh, I still can't believe 56 luck. One liner. Three liner. Oh my god, non-boss tech stuff is so junky. One-liner. Two-liner. No, sorry, wait. That's a three-liner. There's a minus level requirement line on there. So sporadic. It's just like, not only are the number of lines randomized, but the tiers of them are also much lower. Hmm. Okay, that could be a one or two-liner. I think that's a two, though. Now that's a one-liner. That's always upsetting to see. When, when you see one-liners across the board, that's a tilt there. 20 strength, ah, uh, and that's the best I'm gonna get for this sec session. Uh, you know what, I thought about it, and I, I know I shouldn't really do this, but since everything's just going so well right now, I kind of want to just have a little bit of fun here. So, I'm, I'm probably gonna get a pack of uh, Philosopher books, actually. There isn't really anything good inside these boxes except for Arcane Equipment and Breath of Divinity, so if I do get some of that, that would be pretty amazing. And if I do get the Breath of Divinity, I will... That would be everything for me. So yeah, I'm gonna do one pack and one pack only, because self-control is very important when it comes to... Uh spending. This is literally gambling. Whenever I look at videos of uh, whales opening philosopher books or cubing and stuff like that, I always find that their inventories are like super, super clean. My inventory will always be a mess because I need to use a lot of stuff. <laughs> but oh well. Okay, 11 philosopher books. Let's see how this will happen. Okay, that's actually a pretty good prize already, right? Uh, cause the coupon actually is worth something. Garbage. Garbage. Oh. Okay. Evil scroll. Oh, but it's magic attack, so it's not that good. F a futuroid coupon? Okay, so some of the prizes are good. Still looking for that Breath of Divinity, though. <laughs> 
Uh, chair. Okay. Mm that's absolute junk. Oh! That's actually not bad. Uh, chairs are always fine. Yeah, like, I never expect uh, to get anything of that sort, but it's just, like, it would be nice to, you know... Oh, okay. I mean, that's cool. It, it just would be nice to end up with... Nah, I'm not gonna get it. Okay! So let's see here. My big prizes are Fairy King, maybe the Futuroid? Not really. Meister's Cube, 12 star enhancement, not not even close. And uh, a Scarlet Shoulder and a Barefoot Totem. I mean, it's what I expected. I didn't expect to get anything amazing. But this hair coupon, that might be worth something. Fairy King. Ah, no, that's not a big prize. That's unfortunate. There was like one particular hairstyle I recall that was like really, really expensive, but I guess uh, it wasn't that, unfortunately. Let's see here. I'm actually interested to see what I got. Scored 500 mil here. Okay. This is just absolutely worthless. This is worth 100 mil at best. Nope. Oh! few hundred mil for the Futuroid, I like that. A bill for the Barefoot Totem, ooh. And a bill for the Scarlet Shoulder, okay, I mean... I got, like, a couple bill back, which is, you know, still under how much the Maple Points were worth in comparison. But, you know, again, I don't expect to make my money back ever when I do these sorts of things. Oh, and I didn't even do the chairs yet. One last thing here. Hold on. I'm interested. Oh, this is Victor's hairstyle. <laughs> oh, no, I'm totally doing this. I'm gonna... Next hard boss run, I'm just gonna walk in with this hair. And just be like, yo, what up? This is a cursed image. I need to fix this immediately. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. Uh, oh, I could have took a look and see uh, the other colors, because I did have different hair colors saved. I could have done that. Uh, not, not a big deal. Uh, but again, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.